Backhand pass to center. Carswell got met by a silver tip. Anyabuchi will play it left boards. Hine will send it forward for Butt. He got hit by Moresco. Butt looked for a penalty. No call as Moresco tips it back. And now we've got a fight. Dawson Butt and Tanner Nagel. And Nagel, Nagel, who's a lefty, coming in hot with four or five quick ones. Now Nagel switches to rights. Butt in some trouble. Left uppercuts by Nagel. Wow, oh, he's firing away. Butt just trying to hang on at this point. Nagel trying to grapple him to the ice, and he does. Oh, my. Decision number 18, Tanner Nagel. He unforked at least 30 good shots to Dawson Butt. You bet he did. Dawson Butt's not even going to the penalty box on that one. He's going straight to the dressing room. He got fed a bunch of times. That was one of those ones where there was hits, and they were clean. But Dawson Butt felt like he needed to come to somebody's rescue. So sure enough, he does. And Tanner Nagel, is he left-handed? I was just going to say, there are a lot of people in the world that don't endorse fighting in hockey. I'm one of the few, not the stage fighting per se, but I absolutely love when Tanner Nagel squares up for a fight because he squares up as a righty and then immediately comes with lefts and it shocks the other person right away. And any of us who knows it, who has been in a hockey fight before, that's the worst thing that can happen because you're grabbing onto that right shoulder and then all of a sudden, uh-oh, you're in a lot of trouble. You're getting fed lefts, and that's what Dawson Butt got right there. He got fed a bunch of lefts right off the bat, never did recover as well, and he's in the Everett Silvertips dressing room right now. Good win for Tanner Nagel. I talked about this earlier. You need something to turn this game around. You're losing 